Now, hundreds of Christmas trees from Maine are now headed to military bases and families across the world. Reporter Katie Sharp has more on the mission behind Trees for Troops. It's a beautiful day to load up some holiday cheer. Folks from the Randall Collins VFW in Belfast are participating in Trees for Troops. Trees for Troops. Um, we're packaging up trees that are coming from the Robbins Lumber Company and sending them to bases across the U.S. Uh, actually, they're going to go to bases all over the world. We're giving trees to uh, servicemen who are, are away from home. Pleasant View Tree Farm was previously owned by the Robbins family, and this year's Trees for Troops comes full circle for one veteran. I got started uh, working at Robbins Lumber after I got out of the service and uh, worked here for five years. Uh, went out on my own, start my own tree farm, and eventually they contacted me and I bought their tree farm out. Over 300 trees were donated and are being sent out from Maine, adding to the nationwide count of 14,500. Each Maine tree comes with a collection of ornaments handmade by the women of the VFW Post 1605 out of Burlington. And each tree gets a tag that says trees for troops. And what we did this year was up in Aroostook County, where I'm from, we sent them off to the local school and we had all the fourth and fifth graders write thank you notes and Merry Christmas on all the tags. One tree at a time, these vets are happy to share the smell of pine and warm feelings to service men and women all over the world. This For me, this is really a special day because I have a son who's actually uh, in the service right now and he's, he's been deployed. But just knowing when I was away from home and, and we had little tokens like this, it meant so much. It meant, it meant the world to us to know that people do care and people do support our mission. Yeah, I know how you're away from family and so forth, and every little thing helps, especially in the holidays. So when, if you got loved ones that are away, you know, they get a tree and some ornaments, and it just maybe helps them out a little bit to get through the holidays. And it's truly an honor for us to come and help get trees to our fellow servicemen who are active duty, who are deployed throughout the world.